Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. Jesus Christ is the stone for our foundation. He is a tried and precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will be ready for his return. We must, by true examination of our hearts, compare what we see in us compared to the life we see portrayed in the Gospels of Jesus Christ. We must compare ourselves to Jesus himself, not to the world around us, not to the person next to us, not to those that we attend church with. We then must be willing to turn away from these sins that we find in our lives. We must be willing to make the wrongs right. We must be sincerely sorry for these things and be willing to change and ask God for forgiveness. The New Testament gospel of Jesus Christ must be taken inside of us and used as a model for our new behavior by doing what the Bible tells us we will be enabled by God to be saved. Hear the word of the Lord. Don't you know that wicked people won't inherit the kingdom of God? Whoever believes will be ready for his return. Even the finest, tallest, most beautiful buildings cannot stand without a firm foundation. So goes the same for the Christian denominations or the individual churches or Christians themselves. If you will come to him without hiding any of your sin, he will remove all of your falsehoods. Instead, God will give you his spirit and you will know the difference between the living and the dead. No more will you hide beneath the hypocritical facade, but you will be secure in Christ and you will know it. If you will apply His Word correctly and truthfully, the Holy Spirit will remove all uncertainty. Build your life on Jesus Christ. He's the only firm foundation. Your covenant with death then will be annulled, and your agreement with Sheol will not stand. God is saying, then I will forgive you, and my judgment will Pass from you when you use my righteousness as your measuring device for what is right. That is the only sure foundation that we have. If you will give your life fully to God through faith in Jesus Christ, He will be a sure foundation that you can build everything in your life upon. He will be a sure foundation 